Here we go. So we have in orange, we have lo Locomotive, choo, choo. which is our, our player. He is playing with the Turks. Let's see what the Turks have to offer us. All right. Oh, Locomotive is here. Look at that. Choo choo indeed. All right. So the Turks have gunpowder units that have extra HP. Chemistry is free. Gunpowder technologies are cheaper. Gold miners work faster. Light cav and hussar upgrades are free. In fact, the whole line of the scout cavalry gets one extra pierced armor. Their team bonus? Gunpowder units are created faster. The unique units for the Turks is the Janissary. A improved hand cannon here that is available already in Castle. Unique tags, they have access to Sipahi and artillery. On the other side of this hilly terrain, we have Castro playing as the Malay. Alright, these are the Malay for you. The Malay advance in age way, way faster than anyone else. Better elephants are cheaper in Castle, even cheaper in Imperial. Infantry armor upgrades are free and they do not have a team bonus for this map. Their unique unit, the very cheap Carambito, Carambit Warrior, Unique Tax, Force Levy, and Talasocracy. Alright, so Mega Random, right? Mega Random is something. Oh, you 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 actually can oh, dude. Can you imagine getting a castle here? Dude. So you do have access to, to boars, which is not that common in in Mega Random. They usually give you like 16 deer instead of two boars. Also, the deer is very close by, so once again, Mongols on a map like this would be amazing. They would love this. They would sure love this. But we don't have Mongols here. We have Locomotive. You can also see their elos here. 1363 for locomotive, 1371 for Castro with the Malay. Now, let's take a look at this this map. It's, it doesn't look like it's that random, right? Oh, but you don't have a scout. You start with a horse. There's not much in terms of gold outside of your starting base as well, so you might need to move out for for uh, wood, but not much in terms of the minerals of this game. Guys, look, inside here, just very close to your TC, so some of the gold is even in the, the range of the TC. But just here, you have 12k. Your opponent obviously also have 12k. So when you look at the whole map, you have what, 57k? So half of the gold in the whole map is in your base. Is in your bases rather yours in your opponent. So it doesn't uh, oh, look at two hundred look at it. sheep to the legion. Hey, thank you very much, my man. Thank you very much. That that guy, that that emoji, it looks it looks like like Mario Yamaguchi. If you guys know no um MMA, you you probably know who I'm talking about. But yeah, thank you very much, smart guy. That was awesome. That was awesome. Thank you very much for the support. Well, uh, I, I'm going to be honest here. I don't remember what was the description for Locomotive's game here. I'm going to check on this part real quick. And, okay, so... I'm going to read only half because the other half has a little bit of... of a... spoiler. So, he says, Hilarious view fight game. Okay, okay. Um, I love me some some view fight. So let's see, let's see how hilarious is this. You see, oh, the opponent going for for some towers, I believe, because oh, we need to finish this. Because he's going for in Malay tower rushes are, are kind of common, especially on, on arena. And you see four villagers going forward already. These are probably the the, the tower towering villagers. Do we have... Yeah, we know where the opponent is because it's kind of obvious on this map. We also see a little bit of Mr. Michael Jackson here. And... Oh, the timing on this guy is also very good, right? Yeah, well, he's stopped moving. But yeah, the timing would be amazing 
if he can't move it and he knows he knows about that he knows he sees this he doesn't see this this is just from, from cartridge but he does see this so he knows the opponent is here and oh my feet did you lose a villain? no no that's that's an end run. so unless locomotive has amazing attention span here He's not going to realize that's happening, right? And there you go. Now he does. So first tower is up for Castro. Locomotive just arrived in Fudo. We we are we. Uh, why exactly are we not building the rest of the palisades? Just to be sure. Oh boy, that that was a mistake, and now he realizes. But was that enough? Locomotive has what? Eight villagers here? Holy crap, yeah, this tower is going to go down so quick. So, so quick. Look at this. Look at the HP. Yeah, so... Oof. Maybe our friend in gray is not that used to, to tower rushing. Because this is also going to go down. Look, it, it loses HP way faster than, than it gains. Remember, villagers do extra damage against building, so... Oh, oh. Are we fighting? Are we fighting? Seven versus four. Everyone here has loom, so. All right, two towers were erected by Gray, and two towers were destroyed by Orange. It looks like it looks like it's it's do, it's going very well for for locomotive so far. <laughs> Oh, dude, imagine. Oh! Why didn't he delete the tower? He knew that was going to be destroyed. This, oh my god, that was, that was terrible. Locomotive is a little bit house. But he, he just made his opponent lose a total of 375 stone. And remember, this stone... Stone comes so slowly, it's gathered so slowly that that means that's a lot of resources spent already. Lots of village. Oh, oh, yeah, now this is this is better. Oh, he did not tap this, he did. So, this was a little bit better, but uh, still not, not the ideal. Yeah, you need, you need to go back, regroup, and then try again because. If locomotive sees you, there's no way he's going to let you get a, a tower up. Like, what, what are you doing? What, what are we doing here? Are we going to fight with villagers that uh, are half dead already? It makes zero sense, right? Makes zero sense to do this. And he's going back, like... It's, come on, dude. Come on, dude. What? You thought he would not see that? Dude! Pay attention, what the hell are you doing? All right, he got a, a, a view kill, but then he lost a girl here as well, and... We are going to lose this tower, are we not? We are about to lose this tower. Yep, yep. Tower is going down. Oh my god, that's four towers in a row. Holy crap. Holy crap. I found him. Trust me. Dude. 500 stone almost a castle went down already looks like we already have the the upgrade for visibility no we don't we don't there's only one on the towers but we are almost in castle and, and, and you gotta imagine that uh castro as soon as locomotive gets to the castle he might just give up right he might just say yeah I think I'm way behind at this point. Although, seven village advantage is nothing to do. Oh, and there we go. Yeah, the castle going up in a prime position. Uh, those houses kind of, uh, of taking the place where it would be better to have the, the, the castle. But, yeah. dude, was that destroyed? Or was it deleted? No, no, it was deleted by... By Castro, yeah, way, way better. Okay, so Castro already has the resources to go up, so he just needs another building. So he has the two prereqs, but 
Yeah, so far, honestly, life is not good for, for Gray right now. Eight villagers advantage, but still. Castle in your face. Oh, that girl, that girl. Oh, crap. And there we go. GG. What? What? Fresh is always giving. <laughs> Oh, Castro, yeah, yeah, I, I, I feel you. I feel you, okay? Um, you, you, you get destroyed by a single strat, and then when you try to do it, it, it simply doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. <laughs> so, Locomotive gets the win, and that is 1-0 for the Legionnaires. This Rex for fun. Right, yeah. That was the main issue. I mean, come on. He lost so much stone. Anyway, we have the <laughs> the Civ people love to complain about on Land Nomad, and that is the Huns. Let's see what we have for the Huns here. I'd love to do another tournament again this summer and get more involved. Oh, that would be amazing. We we have. Let me get this out of here real quick. We do have a tournament coming up. It's going to be a little bit, bit more relaxed than what we are used to, so the prize will be a little bit more funny than, than really, uh, how, how can I say, money-centered or, or whatever. Yeah, it's going to be a more for fun tournament, but I think you're going to like it. And Mo Black is here, ladies and gentlemen, I got this called report. Mo Black is here with his army. Welcome, welcome, everyone. We are watching the Rex for Fun Fridays. This is the second game for today. And well, I have you guys. I hope you guys have fun. Let's talk about the hunts. The hunts have uh, started a game with less wood, but with the population cap, the maximum on the Nomad maps like this one. The first town center spawns a honey horse. Mother archers are 10% cheaper in Castle Age, even cheaper in Imperial. Trebuchet have extra accuracy against units and as a team bonus, stables work faster. Their unique unit, the Tumblus Tarkin. Unique attacks will have access to more orders and atheism. How are you doing, my black? What, what were you doing? How was your stream, my man? Always good to have you around. In a while, since I, I, I didn't catch one of your early, early streams, they are very, very early for. Uh, for my time, but yeah, uh, wait, what? <gasps> oh, we actually killed the boar! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> that was unexpected. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a low elo like me, you know that even 1600s sometimes kill their boars. <laughs> Let's see what Sephiroth has to offer for us with the Koreans! These are the Koreans. Villagers have extra line of sight. Storm miners work faster. Archer armor and tower upgrades are free. Archer infantry are also cheaper in terms of wood. Team bonus. Megan line minimum range is reduced to one. Unique units that have access to the war wagons. The cavalry archer, war wagon, and unique tax Ipsong and Chinky Chon. Oh boy, oh boy. We also almost killed the, the honey horse from, from blue. But so far, so good for the blue player. Happened two times to me in this stream. <laughs> yeah, when you're streaming, stuff have the tendency to not go as well as when you're just, just playing, right? Yeah, it happened. How, how, how's your elo nowadays? Uh, speaking of which, uh, last time uh, I watched one of your games, you were nearing the 1300s, if I'm not mistaken. And... Still, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, but come on, 1300, it's still a lot, right? 1300 is probably what 10%, the top 10% or something like that. It, it must be around that because we have a very heavy 1100 to, to 1000 to 1100. So I, I would imagine 10 15% the, the 1300 and up could be something like that. Hunts go smoothly on Land Nomad, that, that is true, that is true, you just need to know how to use the, the horse, I don't like what he's doing, he he, he went around on a position that, that he already knew that was this one, this 
probably more strategic than, than really using the horse for, for scouting. 13, 1400 is in the 80s. Yeah, so wait, 80%? No, that's impossible. It's impossible that there, there are more players above 1400 than, than below. 1490 is it 90 percentile? Is it? I think it's the, the other way around, right? It's the 20 percentile. Maybe you mean up to up to 1400? Like you're above 80 percent of all players. Yeah, so you are in the top 20 percent. <laughs> That that was my my point. Is it is it that low? Oh, 1450 is is ten percent. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, looks like this is the theme of today. Percentile is weird. It works the other way around. There we go. This was very smart by Sephiroth. Uh, speaking of which. He had food. Uh, I don't think you, you should ever fight with villagers that are carrying resources, but he was paying attention to, to his his villagers HP. So he was able to, oh, we, we see, see here, some of these villagers have, have stuff. <laughs> Luckily, it's not that one. Oh, oh, are we going to lose a villager here? So far, no, no echo KDs for anyone. Oh, 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 yeah, that girl is safe. If she just comes back to, to the... This was smart, and then oh boy, no 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 no! Oh, that was so good. That was so good. The timing on, on that was so good. Holy crap! Yeah, one zero four Severus thus far. Oh my god! And then they're still here. They're still here. They're still fighting. Black Forest view fights on. There you go. That's how you should do it. Hey, hey eleven mg. How are you doing? Good to see you here. Crazy events, yeah. So far, this this looks like so from the description, which I'm not going to read because once again, that would be a little bit of spoilers for you guys, and that's not my intention. We are going to have a very intense game. It might not be the longest game, but it's going to be very intense. Like, look at this. Look at this. Where are my my Berber villagers when you need them? Oh, oh, oh. So something that I see people doing very, very often is they, they want to, to run away. Like, let's say you have a scout and you want to run away from from a from a pike or, or a spear. And I see people just click selecting the unit and just clicking like here. Dude, the pike can't can actually go this way. So you need to do something like crazy, like hey, clicking here on the map, right? Because what I what I seen that that players losing losing scouts for spears, just because they they clicked not too far away that that's not that's not unfortunately that that's very often and we have fifty six food we have a villager worth worth of food here that's not being dropped off, and even if you if, even if you do drop a house or something like that it's still not going to be able to drop that, so oh oh. This, uh, yeah, look, we have three villagers carrying food. We need to drop that food. Unfortunately, my PC kind of died, but I'm really soon, so maybe I can play. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's that's Pog indeed. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sephiroth has less villagers here and less HP in total as well. And this might not be the best engagement for him. But he's going up. His opponent is very close already to getting to, to Philo, so not really that much of an advantage for Sephiroth when he gets to, 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 to Philo. The thing is, what's the strat here? He already has the barracks up. Oh, the barracks is actually the, the second building for for Philo, uh, for clicking Philo. That's, that's rough. That's rough. You're also closing this, which is honestly smart. You know the opponent is already up, so stable is already up. Holy crap, that was fast. That was actually quite fast. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, I agree. Oh boy, oh boy. 
we still have our featured game. Today we're going to watch three games in total. We have the featured game that is from Bortus Maximus, still to be to be shown. In that one, I heard is an amazing game. So we have three villagers too too many here. We are kind of wasting a little bit of of work rate because so I have a video that that's been in the works for the past year or so and I talk about this this doesn't look like it's that much of a problem right I mean yeah come on it's just just three villagers that are are gathering food and they are going to get this food way faster than if if, if it was just four villagers the issue is exactly what they're doing right now so this walking that they are doing this is a lot of rest wasted and i mean a lot the reason why fishing on african clearing can be so so hard to calculate exactly exactly the point that, that's why i'm saying he has three villagers too many here see he has seven in total and four are capable if you're not the gods four are, are capable to to fully deplete a deer so when you when you go more villagers it might seem low oh, it's not that much of a problem but just that walking time that they were look they just dropped the food right they were down to to less than 80 percent efficiency just going from here dropping the food and walking here look at the distance Look at this distance. That's a lot of, of wasting. Why would a 16 better? Look, uh, the, the, the issue I always talk about when it comes to ELO is that ELO, differently from, from chess, you can, it's very hard to, to gauge the, the ability of a player because there are so... Oh my God, look at this. See what did I just said? We have four corpses here. We have four goats that were that are being collected. One of them is not even being collected, actually. And this guy is still 1600. This guy is still going to destroy me. If we play 10 games, he's going to, to win all 10. And, and, and he still makes one or two or, or three things worse than I do. And exactly, that, that's exactly the point, Mo Black. That's exactly the point. There's so so much stuff. Look, look what he just did. So he, he he lost one. He lost two. He lost two goats to archers. <laughs> what were the goats doing here? You know, that there's so much stuff for you to, to focus on. That it, it, it's natural that you're going to be way better in, in certain aspects. So the way to to see this number here, the oh my god, oh that was so good from Zephyrus. Oh, you're an asshole. You're an asshole. So the way to look at, at ELO is not that the player is that much better than you. It's that on average is that much better than you. So you're going to see players that are amazing at scout rushes. And they have like 300, 400 more ELO than you. If you're going to, to, to fight him head to head, see who has the best scout rush, you're going to be destroyed. But... Imagine if you're amazing at defending scout rushes. Then out of nowhere, that guy is not so so scary, right? He's not so scary anymore. Because now the game just changed. Oh boy, here comes the archers. Now the game just changed. So when you look at Elo, Elo is, is horrible to, to define a uh, player skill in this game. But unfortunately, so far is the best we have, right? Uh, one thing that I always remember is how a beast Hira is on water maps. She's easily like 100, 150, maybe even 200 elo more than she is on land maps. And that's the kind of stuff that's hard to quantify, right? So she can't, she can this imagine a, a tournament that's only water maps. She's going to be playing against uh, 1,000 and 1,100 players. She's going to dominate. She might not win because, of course, that... that it's likely that uh, there are lots of people like her that love water maps. But yeah, she's going to, to perform way better than uh, any 1100 that, that just plays a raider, right? Just like how, how some players are just better at, at, at arena. Some players are better at uh, open maps. 
I, I, I suck so, so much on close maps. Like, you would have no idea. I, I might lose for against 900s on, on, on Arena. Especially if... I might lose to 800s that love Arena. That that's that's the thing. I might lose arena games to 800 players that love arena. That's how crazy this game is. That's how bad Elo is to determine the de de determined player skill. So about the game, yeah, I uh, almost forgot we, we had a game here. So Sephiroth is already on his way halfway to Castleage. Meanwhile, Neural Network, uh, very far away. He has lots of scouts. He he. he Invested a lot of scouts, but he did not do much damage, right? No eco kills for the scouts. Oh no, eco kills. Period. Look at this. Oh boy, yeah. So whoever said that hunts are unbeatable on land nomads, I would like you to just check this this game. I lose to 1k on arena. Yeah, see, <laughs> but but that's the point. That's exactly the point, Moblight. Yeah. It's it's such it's, it's so hard to define skill in this game because you have so many aspects of the game. Oh, what? Are we for real here, dude? This might actually work because we have six scouts against eight crossbow to B with bot. This this drop is actually going to end the game. This guy just isn't doing it right. Yeah, yeah. He, he, no, no, no. I'm not talking about you. Sorry. My, my bad. I did not mean that you, you you meant that they were unbeatable. And I do agree 100% that they are way, way smoother than other subs on this map. But if you look at Reddit, you see plenty of people complaining that puns are unbeatable on, on this map. It, it wasn't about you. My bad, my bad. Oh, and there you go. Yeah, Castle didn't even go up. <laughs> the game is over. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Look at this. Look at this. I wonder if there could be a water pole and land pole for him. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, look at that. Leo the cow. How are you doing, my man? Did not see you your your message yet. But uh, he is the thing. Oh, that's unusual. 12 12. One exactly one KD ratio for both. But yeah, this is very usual for when you are playing archers, right? Archers need to mass a little bit more. But yeah, expected. That's why I don't like Nomad games. So this is probably the, the Nomad map that I like the most. No, no, Captain Clearing is the Nomad map I like the most. This is probably the second one. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, the Fiddle Wage for Sapphires here was was where very well performed yeah very well done and here we go yeah the theme for today is play the game your way and that's what Bertus maximus did so let's talk about the civilizations real quick we have the bengalis the bengalis made famous by red phosphorus and inevitable of course the bengalis have elephant units that receive less bonus damage and are more resistant to conversion on center spawn two villagers when the next age is reached. Cavalry have extra attack against skirmishers. Malkas have extra armor and a sting bonus. Eight units yield extra food in addition to gold. Their only units, the very controversial Ratha. Or Rath. Yeah, uh, that's the correct pronunciation. Their only attack spikes in Mahayana. Wait, what? What the hell is that? Oh, equal. Okay, yeah, makes sense. That, that's a that's a very economic way of saying you too. All right, Mr. Fox is playing as the Burgundians, and now it makes sense. He wants to be economic. Get it? Yeah, sorry. Anyway, the Burgundians have economic upgrades that cost less food and are available one age earlier than our civilizations. The same can be said. For the Cavalier, yeah, Cavalier is available in Castle instead instead of Imperial. Labor technologies are cheaper and gunpowder units have extra attack. King Bonus, Relic generates food in addition to gold. Their unique units, the Coustier, the very interesting uh, attacking 
Heavy Cavalry de Custier e de Flemish Militia. Derrick Tax, Burgundian Vineyards e Flemish Revolution, also known previously as D Button. I may try this economic way. <laughs> yes. It, it takes less time out of you. you. You gain like one extra third of a second. There you go. That's all you need to, to reach the 1400, my man. <laughs> it's even lazier way to say you too. Yeah, it is, right? <laughs> I don't want to call people lazy because they might come to my stream and, and see I'm doing that. So I'm going to say it's economic, right? All right, so let's go back to Bertus here. Let's let's take a look at his map. This map looks horrible. This is something that that's been happening so so much lately with, with Arabia, where you have like a, a literal tree line, right? It, it's 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 so weird. And while this map is swallowable, it's not. It's, it's, uh, it's very weird, right? If you want to go this way, you're going to spend so much. And in houses and palaces and you kind of need to, to wall this because your gold it's it's here if you wall to the gold the opponent comes to fortress you're, you're screwed hey. your bears are here your golds are, are are line here there is an alignment Hi. between the gold the berries and the the other gold if he's go if he's going for for fast castle to wrath here this is actually amazing hey. for him right you got the castle here or rather, uh, like this. Holy crap, that's perfect. You protect both the, the wood line and the main gold. But let's see what he's, he's going to do. I used to do good luck, have fun in GG while play every game. Yeah, I, I do I do say good luck, have fun in GG every game. I say GG while play every time I, I lose, though. Makes me feel better. If I, if I say that the opponent played well. Or if I won and the opponent actually played well, I also say well played. Otherwise, it's just G. Okay, so far so good. Opponent already pushed all the deer. Oh wow, that, that's that's fast, I guess. Well, to be honest, seven minutes, maybe, maybe Bertus is a little bit slow with the pushing. Oh, the opponent still doesn't see. Oh, he got so close. He got so close to this house. Look at this. Dude. I think it's easier to just do this. Yeah. Look how close he, he went to this house. But. So again, this this map is, is such a weird map. He's doing the, the walling to TC method. The main problem is this is going to be all open here. So he, he probably needs to go aggressive. His opponent, yeah, his opponent can, can do kind of a uh, egg walls here. This wood line is also horrible. Well, what's going on with the wood lines on, on Arabia lately? Holy crap! Yeah, he can do something like this. Yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. Don't wall, kids, or or, or wall with stone walls. Then you don't don't mind. Getting walls that far. Look, look at the look at the open space here. This is horrible. Look at this. Hey. I hate it. Okay, so both of them got to the feudal age uh roughly at the same time, but Bertus Maximus as the Bengali just gets to extra villagers. I get scared of Gulag have fun because usually the people saying it are up for something weird. <laughs> uh, I have a game where I went full petards. It's on YouTube right now, and yeah, I actually joked with the guy before the game. I hope he did not take that as, as me trying to... Oh, that was Discord, my bad. Uh, I hope he, he did not take that as me trying to take his attention away from what I was doing, but... Yeah, I understand you completely. Alright, we have archers coming up for the Bengalis. The opponent is walling, I mean... It's not that that much of a surprise, right? Oh, okay, we found it. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Fight back, fight back. Fight back. Oh boy, oh boy, we're going to lose that villager, are we not? He needs to go in front, yeah. He can't kill this girl. Not anymore. Not anymore. 
And you're safe. Scout is looking around. Try to steal those goats. He, he was not able to. All is for noobs. Real men die to sculptures like men. Exactly. I agree 100%. That's how you play the game. You either, you either die to scout rushes or you kill with scout rushes. Walling is for scaredy cats. And speaking of which, uh, I like what he's doing here. He's doing like a, a little community. He's making a little community here to protect the gold miners, to protect these guys, then the, the wood line. Because he, he's seen he's seen what the opponent is, is doing here right now. He knows about it. He saw the stable, so yeah, he's going to move. Wait, we got stables in the archer range, okay. Interesting. I had a game with somebody saying, look, have fun to me, and then TC dropping me, laying me my golden berries, walling in and killing my wood line, and tower rushing me. Well, I mean, uh, it's probably not because he said good luck, have fun. I think that was a strat nonetheless. I might be wrong though, but yeah. I do say good luck, have fun when I'm when I'm going to lame and in douche, but I also say good luck, have fun when I'm not going to do that. So <laughs> you said no. Oh, you are an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the guy says good luck, have fun, and then you respond, no. I'm not going to have fun, you're not the boss of me. You don't decide if I'm going to have fun or not. Oh, the spearman actually got to kill the villager thanks to the archers. Oh my god, this fight is it's it's going horrendous for Bertus here. Oh boy. No, it's a war game. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Okay. <laughs> and, and honestly, yeah, I don't mind. If dude wants to, to be like that, yeah, that's that's his prerogative. As far as I'm concerned. And now the archer, the, the villagers decide to kill that spearman. Now I have lots and lots of skirmishers. We don't have any upgrades on them, so... Oh, but the, the scout is almost dead already. He's not going to be able to kill any of the skirmishers. These archers do have flashing. You can, you can fight the, these skirmishers without upgrades if you have flashing. But I mean, you can, I can. Yeah, it's possible. It's what I mean. Did you see what this guy? Look, did you see what this guy just just done? He he, he stopped getting this because he was full. And then he, he went to this tree just to, to, to go back. Dang, that's that's good pathing. That's good pathing if I ever saw it. Amazing. Also, we might need to, to get a house here soon. And yeah, just passing. Nothing happened here. All right, Bertus is in a very good position. The issue is he is playing the Burgundia, so he needs to do damage. So far, he has not killed any of the villagers, although Mr. Fox might help him. Oh, we have a tower. Okay. Yeah, if, if you look here, you see that with the with the lightning upgrade, they do have an extra range over the over the the skirmishers. And the problem is you need to micro this so well it's it's impossible for for someone like me, for a noob like me to actually micro this enough. But look what he's doing. Did you see south of, of this this position here? Did you see what I just seen? Look at this. Ah very smart. <laughs> Dude is being very smart, sneaky. He's making the, the skirmishes pursue these three archers. Meanwhile, the real army is coming forward. Oh, I like what, what Mr. Fox is doing here, but Bertus is now going up. And it looks to me from, from what he's doing that he's going for the for the boom, right? He, he has the 200 stone as usual and lots and lots of wood. He can easily go two TCs here. No problem at all. 
Oh, this is a problem. He's going to wall this way. Okay. So there, there's something that, that I, I'm, I'm trying to, to test. Is how good would it be walls when you force an edge and and how can I how can I say this? Instead of doing them like this, straight, what if you if you did them like this? You know what I mean? Like a V. And, and let me let me tell you why. Opponents are going to go for the the farthest possible tile, right? And then you can like gate him if you want. You just go this way and gate him. Remember, the opponent cannot see much of what you're doing, but you can see all that he's doing. Oh, oh are we not paying attention to these guys? Hey. We got three extra villager kills so far with this army. He might get a little bit more here. He needs to kill his scouts, and then he can he can easily go for the villagers. But yeah, you can you can wall, you can gate wall, you know what I mean? And you can also trap them to, to kill them with, with your army, right? Because you know where they are going to. They're the only way they can go. Oh, he tried to destroy this, but he did not get it. You know what I mean? Am I am I being Am I being understandable here? Am I am I being confusing or something? I will try this. Because I have the, the, the habit of doing that. Being confusing. Alright, so walls, yeah, expected. He went for the for the extra three Cs. Uh, well, I mean like I always say, if you're going to wall, you need to commit to walling. Otherwise, there's no reason to wall at all. Oh boy, he did not see this because these four archers can easily kill this, this light calf. Oh, not if you're not going to, to attack, of course. Knights are coming from Mr. Fox. And, oh, Mr. Fox did not get the the, the um, ball saw in, in feudal. That's that's a little bit of a problem to be to be fair. A little bit of an issue. He's going for Cavalier this soon. Holy crap! Okay, yeah, the Cavalier upgrade is very very good because it's not that expensive and gives your knights a uh, plus twenty percent extra base or base HP and base attack. So it's a it's a very good upgrade. It is it is as if you got like uh, bloodlines and. The two first attack upgrades at once. Oh boy, we just lost one of the knights for no reason. We were not paying. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Not we. They, because our legionnaire today is Bertus. So let's 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 watch this from Bertus' point of view. So opponent is attacking. And now they are cavaliers. Bang! So I imagine he opened archers to kind of make uh, make us invest too much on skirmishes. It did not work because the the the, the expensive investment for skirmishes is actually the elite skirmisher. That is that is kind of expensive, and that's not what we got. So oh, we got two. We got two out of two. That's amazing. That's amazing. We have more, more villagers. We have a good army, we have Monkas, we have three TCs, so the Bengalis are actually out booming the Burgundians. We also have this. No, th that's theirs, but I mean. Where, where is the Choo Choo? I, I want to see the Choo Choo in chat. Oh! The Monka cannot go inside. Whoa. Oh, he's actually preaching right now. He went to the hill so they could understand him better. And here they go. They're going for it. Ah, they come back. <laughs> they, they saw the Cavaliers in the night and they said, yep, nope. There you go. <laughs> That's a land is true, true. Thank you very much, Locomotive. Kind of makes sense that, that it was you doing the choo-choo, right? Oh, he's going to fight the, 
He's going to attack the monk. Oh, <laughs> he's attacking the monk. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. He was attacking the monk with the with the battering ram. See. Hi. Okay, coming back. I don't know if the Burgundians have access to heresy. Uh, not heresy, uh, atonement. And they do. Yeah, well, of course the Bengalis do. Okay, I like what he's doing here, going around. And so far, the advantage for us is such a good advantage. Although it's not, it's not reflecting that much on rest collected, but just the fact that you have more rest collected than the Burgundians at this point in the game, it's, it's already good as heck, right? Opponent is going for heavy plow, but okay, yeah, now now he's going for the, the yeah, makes sense, makes sense. He, he was on on although he he, he was on. on uh, handcart already that early. Uh, wheelbarrow. Well, which one is the, the first one? Uh, wh whichever is the first one, doesn't matter. And the monkas are now in danger. Oh boy, oh boy, the monkas, the monkas are dying. The monkas are dying. Oh no, oh no, oh no, the monkas were killed, and now, now we do have the advantage in, in the monka. Department as well with eight monkeys, six of, of them here. Yeah, those cavaliers are, are in deep, deep trouble. You you cannot convert the, the monastery though, even if you had the correct uh, upgrade. And here they come, here they come. Oh, he's fishing. Look at this, he's fishing with the, the, the light cav. Oh, that was so smart. I love it. He went forward just to, to see the, the Cavaliers coming to attack the Light Cav, and then he said, yep, come to pop up. And the Monka started their business, but no conversions. No conversions. Oh, he did get, get faithful. Life's a little bit harder. Okay, going with... 11 villagers, 40 castle, okay. And lots of damage here. Oh my god, the, the light cav were not attacked by the cavaliers, so they decided, yeah, we're going to kill villagers then. We're going to kill villagers. Bertus got five villagers just in this rush here, which is very, very good. Not to mention the fact that we have five villagers here for the longest time already. And that's a huge problem for. For the Burgundians, because now it's it's like they had like 46 villagers in total. They are behind. They are way way behind in, in this this moment. When, when they with the the five villagers that were here, he had um, the equivalent to half the working force that Bertus has. Now Bertus is going up, but he's not going to stop making villagers because he has three TCs. Oh, okay, going around, which is very smart. Not focusing on that front of the battle. He's going forward, looking for damage. And, oh, this is open. This is, this is open. This is open. I'm not really sure we can call this holes. Because it's, it's like, this is all open, right? Hi. Let's see if he's going to take advantage of this hole here. So far, he's going this way. Does he know about... Yeah, he, he thinks that's still not walled, but he probably just clicked inside. And that's why the, the Cavaliers are going that way. No, no, he did not. But he's going to find the hole now. He's going to find the hole now. And here they come. Yep, they're going in. The Cavaliers. We have 17 Cavaliers inside our base. And that must not feel good. That must not feel good. Especially when your perfect counter is here in the front. And it has a ridiculous walking speed. 
remember the, the the Cavalier is a Imperial unit. Cavalier is an Imperial upgrade. So oh we had more conversions. Oh we have the Cavaliers. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he used all the Malkas to convert one of the Cavaliers. Go inside the castle! Malkas, go inside the castle! No, he's going to lose all the Malkas. Rough. Yeah, that's that's rough. And okay, we are going to get another cavalier here. We got it, but this TC is going to go down. The villagers are going to get ejected. That's what they did, and now we might have a slaughter in our hands. Oh my god, we have more conversions. So far, so good. Holy crap, the amount of conversions from Burton's Maximus is, is godly. But we have 34 echo kills for Mr. Fox, only 14 for Bertus. And yet, Bertus still has around 50% more villagers. Oh boy. <laughs> oh crap. Oh, we went for the amazing Bengali uh, elephant archers. And oh my god, this guy actually survived with 3 HP. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, we need to kill the Light Cav before they kill the Malkas. And we have the GG. Dude, we have the GG. Th that was a little bit early. Don't you agree? What do you guys think? Do you think that that was a little bit earlier than, than expected? Damn. But yeah, this this is the, the feature game for today. Very well done, Bertus Maximus. Congratulations. It was a very strategic game. I like the way you play. I wish to see more of your games in our Rex for Fun Fridays. Alright. So, 